Yesterday I posted two ways to play your audio on Google Sites and I detailed a way to put a file on Google Sites and then make it play on Google Sites. Today I'm just going to do a video showing you how to do it very easily and also to show you how you can use other sites other than Google Sites since their storage is limited. We'll use Windows Live SkyDrive and we'll also use Dropbox and we'll use a gadget as well. So let's get started. So I go over to my test site and I've got three different, actually four different places. The file cabinet, SkyDrive audio, Dropbox audio, and we'll try a gadget as well. So let's get started really easy probably better done with a video anyways so let's say I'm going to edit the page and one of the reasons I put these things here is because we're going to go into HTML and then by doing that I can see exactly where I want to put these things so I want to embed the player so I'll go back to my post and right here is where I get the Google Player embed code so I'm just going to simply going to copy that and I'll go back to my site and I'll paste it in there. Now I might as well place the player in, in all these locations and we'll do the gadget later and I'll say update and there I've got some players now for the Google Sites file cabinet, all I gotta do is click on this Google gadget and go to properties. And then here you'll see the audio URL HTTP. So I want to replace this URL with the proper URL from the audio cabinet. So let's say I'll go to the audio cabinet. There's the download link. I'm going to right click on it and say copy link address. Then I can go back and I can paste that in there. Now see how it's flashing right here. The last thing I've got to do is go back and since it's expecting an mp3 file I have to copy that and paste it right on the end here. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say Save. And then when I hit Play, I've got a song. Alright, so let's just do the other couple here. I'm going to Edit Page. I'm going to click on Properties. Now I want to replace the audio URL and I'm going to go to SkyDrive. Now here I am in SkyDrive if you're familiar with that. I've clicked on the file and, and it gives you a web address and you're really tempted to use this but instead right click on that download option and once again say copy link address. I'm going to paste that in there and then once more t one more time I have to go in here and tell it that it's really an mp3 file. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say Save. And let's see if that worked. Sure did. Alright, so one more time we've got to do the Dropbox audio here. I'm going to go Properties. I've got to replace the audio URL. I'm going to go to Dropbox. I've got a Dream On. And then you're going, oh wow, it's a blank screen. Well, what I'm going to do is go up to the address bar, highlight it, copy it, and then replace it here. And then one last time, I'm going to have to copy that last tag to show that it's an MP3 file. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to click on Save. And then if we go to the Dropbox, I've got audio. Alright, the last thing we want to do is try a gadget. 
Now I'm going to insert a gadget here by going up Insert, More Gadgets, and I'm going to look for an MP3 player. Unfortunately, this one didn't work. So you just have to sort of go down and, and see what you've got going here. They've got a lot of them. I'm going to use this one from Veril.org and see if it actually works. So I'm going to say select. And then I've got to replace the MP3 URL. And it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go ahead and use the SkyDrive one. I'm going to copy the link address. I'm going to paste that in there. Now remember, once again, I'm going to have to put that last tag on there and paste that in there. And I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say Save. And let's see if it works. It sure does. So that's how easy it is to put audio into a Google site. Like I said, Google Sites doesn't have a lot of storage. So if you've already got a SkyDrive account or a Dropbox account, um, that's a lot of storage. You could use SugarSync as well. A lot of these places, you just have to get the proper URL. So I hope this was good. Thanks a lot.